Hey everybody, welcome to Glazer's Geezer Garage. Well, in this episode, we're gonna start on the 64 Impala. I gave, you, I gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek a week or so ago. Uh, this is a friend of mine uh, trying to get this thing done. It's body work, paint's all been done. We gotta take a couple pieces of the rear end out today because it was uh, the story behind it. I'll, I'll give the guy, the owner, an interview so you guys can listen to his story. He's owned this car for many, many years. But he was trying to get this done, started before COVID, and COVID kind of delayed things. The gentleman that was doing the work sold his body shop to a bigger company, and they had to get this thing out of the body shop, so they put their rear end back in, not painted, and a couple other things. But otherwise, this is a beautiful car. I'm gonna pull the rear end out. He's gonna have bearings and stuff put in it, rebuilt, basically. So that's our task today, but what we're looking at here are parts to a 64 Impala convertible. And as you can see out here, I have my truck and trailer hooked up. We are going to pick up that Impala right now. If you come over here, I made room, of course, as uh, much as I could. Here's parts. This car is basically all painted and ready to put back together. Uh, here you can see a new brace for the uh, convertible top, the front brace. This is the cow cover. This is uh, part of the dash. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to helping my friend Terry put this thing together. You'll see there's the bet. Haven't forgot about that. Got it back on the rolling dolly. Um, got a few things I can do before the chassis comes in, but Probably will run out of thing. I'm gonna put the firewall on. I'm gonna go ahead and put that tub kit in the back. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep working on this. Got a couple more spots of rust to repair on the lock pillars. I showed you guys that before. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's go get this Impala. So what we got here, 64 Impala convertible. All the paintwork's done. Chassis's all painted. Got new tires. This belongs to Terry Finnefrock. How many years have been, Terry, since this thing's been on the road? Ah, uh, geez, about, uh, see, 91 was the last time I had it on the road. So. All right. So we're going to take it over. 9 and 24 is 30. 30 some? 30 some years. Oh, that's yep. amazing. Yep, yep. And this is the body man himself. Retired, I should say. This is Lenny. Nice job, Lenny. Thank you. Appreciate we're going to take this over at Glazer's Geezer Garage. And we're going to okay. put it together for him. All right, Terry, you ready to get this thing over at Glazer's Geezer Garage? Oh, yeah. All right. Sure. Yep. All right. Yep. We're going to get over there and we're going to make a list. Thank you, Lenny, over there for the fine body work. I have a black, I have a black car myself, and this is a really good paint job and body work. As we all know, it's the prep work that counts. All right. Okay. Let's get going. Yep. Okay, here we are unloading it at Glazer's Geezer Garage. Anyway, it's a beautiful car. I'll give you a little walk around. Let's put your peepers on this. So here we go, as I told you. It's all black. Body work's all done. It looks great, nice and straight. Uh, these are long body lines, and everything looks really nice. My understanding was, and I'm going to get a full story on this, because the guy that did the body work is going to come over and talk to us, but... Uh, Sounds like it had quarters, floor pans. This thing had a lot of stuff replaced on it, but as you can see, it's a beautiful vehicle. All black. I'm partial to black, as you guys know from a previous video. My 56 is all black, which is actually right there under the tarp, or I should say the car cover. But let's keep on this one. If you go around, everything's really nice and a convertible, yeah. We have a few new pieces for the convertible we're gonna put on. Dash is painted, black with red interior, perfect. But this thing is ready to put back together. A little bit of dismantling out of the rear end. I think I'm gonna pull the steering box out for him so we can paint that up pretty nice. The frame needs a little touch up here and there, but not bad, it's painted very nicely. Firewall, so yeah, everything's looking great. Okay, this should be a fun project, and we'll have a series of videos on this. I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to it. Uh, this gentleman's a little bit older than me, so 
falls into the category of Glaze's Geezer Garage. A bunch of old car guys putting their dream cars back together. So let's get to work on this rear end. Rear end in the 64 Impala is out. I'm gonna clean up a few of the old brake wheel cylinders and emergency brake they cut off. You're gonna send this out to get it looked at, make sure the gears are okay, put your bearings in it and stuff. Uh, yeah, wasn't too bad getting it out of there. If I had it up on, a, on my rack, on my 63 split windows over there. So the old man had to crawl on the ground, but you know, I did it. No problem. Probably be sore in the morning, but that's why we call it the geezer garage. So anyway, we're moving along here, getting started on this 64 Impala. The owner's gonna be over a little bit. We'll get his story on the car. All right, I'm here with the owner of the 64 Impala. This is Terry. Uh, Terry's gonna tell us a little bit about the history, how long he's had the car, so we can uh, let everybody know what we're working on and why he wants to rebuild it. So. When, when did you get it, Terry? Well, I got it from my brother in 1968 when I turned eight, I turned 16. Nice. But he bought it from, a, I don't know whether anybody remembers, Bloomfield Chevrolet and Canal Fulton. He bought it new from Bloomfields in 1964 and had it for four years. And then he wanted a GTO, set 19, a 1968 GTO. So she, nice. he sold it to me. Nice. He sold this to me in 68 and I've had it ever since. So what kind of shape was it in when you it, bought it? It was in pretty good shape. He, he kept it pretty nice. He he didn't go on any trips or anything like that. He worked at the Hoover company all his life. And he, he started there when he was 18 and that's basically yeah, where he went back right. and forth. That's what so we, that's so what it was been yeah. local all these years. So blue collar family? Yeah, work, work pretty much blue collar. Yeah, yep, for my, sure. My dad was a bricklayer. <laughs> okay, well, that's what my that's what my brother was. He, yeah. He's a bricklayer at yeah. uh, the Hoover Company. Yep. So I said uh, the car qualified to be at the Giza Garage because I think Terry's a little bit older than me. I'm not going to ask him, but <laughs> yeah. anyway, uh, yeah. that's good. So yeah. uh, it's a neat car. It's uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk to the body man who worked on it. He's going to come over a little, little few in a month or two. We'll talk to him a little bit, but he did a great job on the car. Put a, looked like he put a rear quarter, did some other thing, put floor pans. What else did he do to it? Floor pans, uh, a trunk, new trunk pan. Nice. Inside there. Uh, that's about it. He yeah. painted it. The fenders, the, or the front fenders were in good shape and so were the uh, doors. It was just that one quarter panel that had some rust on it in the nice, back. Nice. Yep. Right. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna see an inventory of what we brought over here and Terry's gonna do a inventory of what he's got at his house. We're gonna get a, a list and a game plan. Uh, we know the first thing we're gonna do is get a wiring, complete wiring harness ordered. 
it's a lot easier to do that when everything's apart right now. Uh, probably the step after that, we'll remove the convertible framework and get it painted up and uh, see if we can get that top on that. That's, that's something we don't need to do right away, but right. I'd like to get right. it up and out of our way there while we're working on other parts yeah, of the interior. For sure. yep. So anyway, thanks Terry for coming okay. over. Yep. Thanks for joining Thank me. Thank you, Don. Yep. We'll keep you guys posted on the work content here. So thanks for joining Glazer's Geezer Garage. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate you guys watching.